while working on a program I've been spending quite a bit of time on lately, I decided to try to test it with an old uh, high Earth orbit satellite. So I loaded in <coughs> parameters for uh, AO10 and what popped up on the screen just didn't look right to me. Uh, here's the location of the satellite at this instant in time and here's the ground track and a couple curious things about it <clears throat> one is the obvious thing that the satellite appears to change direction in somewhat of a strange fashion now I'd used AO10 probably I don't know 30 years ago and, and no doubt made hundreds and hundreds of contacts on the satellite and I knew it was elliptical but I don't know this just didn't look right so I spent I wasted a fair amount of time trying to fix it and then I decided to use the reference standard set uh, PC 32 and I saw this which was the same you know, to me, curious because, uh, well, I don't know, sort of a ground track. And then I thought, well, there must not be anything wrong with my program. So I contacted Eric, uh, DK1TB, the author of SAT PC32, and asked him about, him, about it. And he explained it to me. So it got me thinking maybe there might be somebody else out there other than me who who was somewhat surprised by this and so I modified my program a little bit to sort of speed up time and here here it is running and here's the current location of the satellite and I put in a little slider to change the time or speed up time. I've never been very patient, never saw any point to it. And a couple of things you'll notice. One is the sort of non-linear speed of the satellite. Now it's coming up on a turn here, so we'll just slow it down. We can see right now it's heading, appears to be heading straight towards uh, Australia, Western Australia, and if everything works as planned, <coughs> it should change direction or appear to change direction and start heading north, somewhat more northeast, and then swing around and actually point northwest well you get it um, if you sit down and, and think about it for a while again I have to thank Eric for setting me straight on this it's all due to a couple of things. One is the elliptical nature of the orbit, which means, uh, and this satellite has a period that's relatively long compared to the LEOs that we have now. Um, and as a result, the satellite may be traveling faster or slower than the rotational speed of the Earth. So this accounts for the, the apparent uh, change in direction. It's a little bit like watching um, old Western movies when they're on television and every so often it looks like the wheels on the stagecoach are turning the wrong direction. Uh, I remember asking my parents about this when I was a little kid and they just sort of looked at me in horror. So interesting. Have a nice day. 73's.